and then we can actually like just move them around with it. So this is the point cloud that I showed you in the slides as well. We can move it around here, see the different kind of things. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can see all the points here in our actual like point cloud. Hey guys, welcome to a new video on this computer vision tutorial. So in this video here, we're going to have an introduction to a new framework or library that we're going to use to process the point crowds that we're creating with either uh, deep learning or stereo vision. So the framework here that we're going to work with is, is Open3D. So it's just a toolbox or like a framework that we can operate with uh, three dimensional data. We can uh, pre post process our data. We can create point clouds, render them and do stuff like that. And we can also visualize them, play around with them, do segmentation of different kind of objects and reconstruct whole scenes of our environment uh, by using point clouds and this open 3D uh, framework. But first of all, we're going to join Discord server. I'll link to it in the description here. You can come join the channel, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, AI, and so on. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel uh, with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So first of all, I want to talk about like what point clouds are, how can we construct them and how can we then use them with Open3D to actually like post process our point clouds. Because when we're talking about point clouds, we're talking about this three dimensional data structure where we have our X and Y coordinate we get from, for example, image frame. And then we also need information about the depth of these, these each individual pixels. If we're talking about uh, dense um, point clouds and stuff like that, like dense stereo vision. So then we have our X, Y, and our C uh, coordinates. So we can like have three dimensional, uh, three dimensional data. And then when we combine that into like a cloud, we like to like construct these point clouds as we can see we have on these images. So these images, the left image here is constructed by using stereo vision. And then to the right here, we constructed this point cloud uh, by using deep learning. So when we're talking about point clouds and creating point clouds, it's actually like really messy uh, data structures and we need to post process them to actually like be able to, to do something with them and use them in, in real life applications. So here we can see point clouds with Open3D, which is the framework that we're going to create a lot of different kind of videos uh, on here on the channel, uh, where we're going to like post process our point clouds to remove some of the noise. We're going to play around with some of the point clouds, see what we can do, add rendering to the, uh, to the point clouds, smoothen them out, um, fill the out noise, outliers and stuff like that in our point clouds, because again, when we're operating with point clouds and when we actually like generate or capture our point clouds with cameras and stuff like and stuff like that we get really messy point clouds that we need to do a lot of filtering on to actually like be able to work with it and we can also do segmentation and, and a lot of different kind of stuff like object detections in 3d point clouds as we're going to see throughout this uh, tutorial here with the open 3d module so here we can see an example of just one point cloud as i'm going to show you in code how we can set it up so this is an example that is provided by Open3D. And we're also going to go in, into the website and the GitHub to see like what's going on, how can we download it, how can we get started with it. And then we're going to create a lot of other videos where we're actually like going to use the function methods and classes that's implemented in Open3D. So this is just a really nice point cloud of a reconstructed scene. So we can see we have the scene that we get from an image. It could be like a, a, a color image with the depth, uh, depth information as well. So we have a depth camera. And then we get all this information, we create a point cloud, and then this is actually a point cloud created by, uh, by a camera. We cannot see the actual like, images that is created from, and then we can like uh, move the, the point cloud around so we can actually like, see the 3D structures in our environment. And then we can use that to actually like, reconstruct whole environment, like whole rooms, uh, and even do mapping and stuff like that. Mapping, segmentation in environments uh, by using point clouds. So now let's just jump into the Open3D website here. So first of all, we can see that this is a modern library for uh, 3D data processing. So this is just basically a library for processing 3D data, which, which is also corresponding to, uh, to point clouds. So previously we talked about like the point cloud library, PCL library um, and stuff like that, but that is way outdated. Uh, we're pretty much, we're, we're not using that anymore. Like some older applications might use uh, might, might the, um, the PCL library. But now we have this modern library here for 3D data processing and even processing it in the cloud. So it's really fast and we can create really large uh, point clouds that we can do operations on. So just this is just really nice and cool as we're going to see throughout this video when we're going through code examples, how to actually like do the things that we're talking about in this video. So here we can just see like some examples like images from the projects that uses uh, Open 3D. So this is a reconstructed environment by using uh, the Open 3D um, a library or like module framework that we're going to use. 
So it's actually like really nice. It's a really good uh, reconstruction with a lot of details. Of course, this has been post processed and rendered um, and so on. So it re looked really nice uh, when we're actually like, doing this reconstruction. We can also see we can map like whole environments. So we can use for mapping uh, if you want to do some navigation around in the environment, then we can use point clouds uh, to actually like, create this or reconstruct our environments. So we have information about all the different kind of things. And then we can do segmentation for different kind of objects. Or if you have like some uh, pick and place system with a robot, we can do a point cloud on that. And on those, we can find out different kind of objects that we want to pick and then place to another like bin or something like that. We can also see we can get some different kind of like points here. So this is just some images from uh, projects uh, as well. We can do segmentation. We can get colors for the different kind of depths and so on. So we can just go through the examples here. Again, we have this uh, tank here as well. And then at the end here, it was the same image as the first one. So we can we get an introduction here. So Open 3D is an open source library that supports rapid development of software that deals with 3D data. And one of the most important things here as um, that we can actually use it for both C++ and Python. And this video here, we're mainly going to use the, the Python API, which is just a module or like an API that's built on top of uh, C++. So the whole uh, open source library here is actually like implemented in C++. So it's really efficient and it's also really fast when we're running these functions, even or like me function and methods, even though we're running it in Python, because this is just an API that calls the C++ functions under the hood and does all the processing um, as well. So here we can see that the backend is highly optimized and is set up for parallelization. So again, it is really efficient and we, we can just create these point clouds and process them really fast. Open3D was developed for uh, from a clean slate here with a small and carefully uh, considered send, uh, set of dependencies. It can set up different platforms so we can both use on Windows, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Linux and, um, and Mac. And here we can just see all these different kind of things. The code is clean, consistently styled and maintained via clear code review mechanism. Om3D has, uh, uh, has been used in a number of published research papers or like projects and is actually like deployed in the cloud. So it's deployed in the cloud. The processing is really fast. We can use it across platform. We can use it for both C++ and Python and it's updated um, a lot of times here. So it just gets updated over and over again. So over time, this module that is um, library here just gets better and better. We can see introduction here um, at video as well. You can go in and see that if you want to. We can see some of the core features like uh, we can have simple installation via conda pip. We actually like, just have to go into uh, our terminal here. So I can just go into a, a terminal. I'm going to open up Anaconda and then we can actually just type in pip and then install and then we can just type open 3D and hit enter and they will just download it on your computer and we're going to use it as we're going to do in, in later videos. So here we can see we get 3D data structures, 3D data processing algorithms. All of these algorithms that we're going to use is actually like implemented. We also get scene reconstruction from, um, from point clouds. We can do surface alignment, PVR rendering, 3D visualization, and then we have Python bindings so we can use it together with Python and all the other modules and frameworks that we know of in Python. Um, and we can also see the support compilers. Down here we can see how to download it if you're on Linux, Mac or Windows. And we also get these different kind of options here. So we can install it with pip as I just showed you. But we can also do it with conda and you can get specifically how down here, like how you, you need to install it. So let's say you want to install in conda 3.8 here. Um, you can just copy paste this one here into the terminal or like the command prompt and then just do it. If just take a short look here into uh, into the GitHub, we can actually like, see the source code. We can see all the methods that is actually implemented. So we're going to see how it's implemented. Um, and they also stated that is a very uh, clear code. So we can go in, understand what are these algorithms here actually like, doing on our point clouds. So we're not just using them. If we get the whole implementation. We can customize it for ourselves if we want to do some other different kind of things within these algorithms. We also get some different kind of examples. So we get some tutorials for both Python and C++. We also get some test data sets. So we both have data sets. We have point clouds that we can actually like load in and play around with these different kind of uh, methods and functions that is implemented in OM3D. So we're going to do that in the next couple of videos where we're going to go through some of the examples we have here and load in some of the data that is already provided in this uh, library here or like from the source code here in GitHub. Down here, we can see we just get an overview over here, like how to set it up with Python, C++ and so on. But we also have this open 3D viewer app here. Um, so we can actually like have this 
interface or like graphical user interface that we can play around with as well with our point clouds but it only works on ubuntu and mac os, uh, mac OS right now but it is going to be implemented for uh, windows again or, or as well later on we also have this open 3d machine learning which we're definitely going to use as well so this is just an extension of this open 3d for machine learning task or like for 3d machine learning task so let's say we have an autonomous car that's driving around in the environment getting information about like the depth to different kind of signs uh, so we have these point clouds that our car is, is moving around in or basically just a robot driving around in the environment let's say we have a robot that wants to drive like between rooms in a, in a, in a house then we can actually like map the environment have it driving around like this we can get like all these things process them with open 3d machine learning module here as well so we're going to take a look at that later on but then again this is just an introduction to show you how cool this uh, framework or like library here actually like is and what it can be used for um, as well and is actually like really really efficient for doing all these different kind of things and the last thing that i'm going to show you in this video here is how we can actually like import in python curve how we can set it up and how we can just read in point clouds from the test data sets that, that are provided so here we're just going to import om3d as o3d we're going to import numpy os and the system and then down here also some om3d tutorial uh, so we so we can so we can actually like draw the visualization and the visualization will also be plotted here in the jupyter notebook so we're just going to run the cell here it will do all the things and then we can actually like just uh, read in point cloud so we have a point cloud here which is equal to o3d.io and dot read point cloud and then we can just specify the, the path to the point cloud that we actually like want to load in we can also specify the path to the point clouds that we created in the previous videos but this video here we're just going to load in the test data that are provided by open3d so the first one here if i'm just going to hit shift enter first of all we're going to print out what the actual like point cloud are and then we're going to print out some of the samples that we have in our point clouds or some of the points and then we're going to have this o3d dot visualization and then inside of the visualization class they have a function or like method here implemented that is called draw geometries so we can actually like draw the whole point cloud um, and play around with it as we're going to see so hit shift enter it'll run it and then we get up this point cloud uh, from this test data set and then we can actually like just move around with it so this is the point cloud that i showed you in the slides as well we can move it around here see the different kind of things we can zoom in zoom out we can see all the points here in our actual like point cloud and if we hit plus here or minus we can actually like scale the size of our points so here we just have really small points for all of the points in the point cloud we can also upscale them so we get like thicker points in our point cloud so we can do all these different kind of things and it's just really nice and we can do a lot of different kind of things with it so this is just how we can reconstruct um, an environment by using cameras or like we have one image with rgb channels and then we also have um, an image with the depth so we have a depth camera getting the information and then it's basically just x y and c coordinates as we can see here so this is a point cloud with almost 200,000 points in our point cloud so this is a really large point cloud and we just saw how fast it actually like loaded it and how we can play around with it because is implemented in the cloud so here we have our x and we have our y and we have c coordinate and then we have that for all of the 200,000 points that we have in this point cloud here the last two examples here is just uh, other point clouds so we have this uh, armadillo point cloud i'm just going to show you to it we can play around with it move it around it's really nice it's really smooth as well to play around with because it's again it's in the cloud and the last example here is just a funny one here uh, and again in other videos we're going to go into more details how we can do a lot of different kind of operations on these actual like point clouds how we can post process them maybe filter out if we have some outliers we can try to add noise to our point clouds which is often the case um, when we're creating our own, our, own, our own point clouds because they are really messy and they don't look this good here when we're just creating them with our cameras and, and so on so we need to do a lot of post processing when we're operating with 3d point or like point cloud data so that's it for this video here guys we've been through an introduction to this open 3d library we can use for a lot of different kind of things like loading in point clouds doing post processing of our point clouds removing outliers adding noise uh, doing segmentation reconstruction of whole environments and so on so we just introduced what this library here is capable of and then in the next couple of videos we're going to go into details how we can actually like do these operations so make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification under the video it really helps the youtube channel out in a massive way and you will also get a notification when i upload the new videos here 
uh, with point clouds in Open3D. Also remember to like the video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. I'm calling it also doing this computer vision tutorial in general where we're talking about basic camera operations like how we can calibrate cameras, um, do operations on our images, how we can use stereo vision and then now we're sort of combining everything so we are having our images, we're using stereo vision where we have two images, combining that, creating point clouds with stereo vision and now we're actually like doing the night things where we can actually like use these things to create some real life applications and reconstruct our environments but only using cameras. So I'll link to that computer basic tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.